Alright guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Margus the fourth and in this episode of Mobile Strike We're going to actually do part two of how to be a great rally leader in Mobile Strike. So In this part is basically I'm going to be speaking about how to Get ready to attack to decide how to attack the person because there's certain things that you have to look at Like you have to read the whole situation You have to understand the whole situation and if it's worth going for the hit or if it's not worth going for the hit keep on hitting the person or stop hitting the person or is the zero gonna take too long and with these pointers i'm going to give you guys an idea of how to assess the whole situation very quickly how to adjust very quickly how to decide what's best for you and your team so the first thing i want to speak about is picking your target Outside of the kill event, it's completely different because we tend to just go all out. I, I call these like YOLO solos or YOLO rallies. I, I literally like hit everything. If I have a chance, I will hit everything and anything outside the kill event just, just to know my limits, just to figure out my limits because that's fun figuring out your limits. You don't want to just be like stuck in this little box and not knowing how good of a rally leader you can be or or how good of an attacker you can be you want to know your limits so attacking people outside the kill event is way easier than attacking during the kill events during the kill events you probably shouldn't try to find out your limits <laughs> you should do that all beforehand during the whole break that they give us they usually give us several weeks be between kill events so that's probably the best time to start attacking people and figuring out your limits because the more you attack people the more you you get comfortable with hitting people and the more you will be able to figure out for your team what's the best size for you guys to hit during the kill events one thing i i do is i try to get a scout in whoever the target is the target if you can get a scout in it's probably best case scenario for you and your team because <laughs> a scout tells you so much about the person it can tell you from if they were last active at one of the first things I look at is the boost. I try to see, are they running any boost? Are they running a defense, health, or attack boost? If they're running those boosts, know that those boosts can only last one hour. So that, that tells you they've been on within the last hour if they have one of those boosts running. If they don't have one of those boosts running, well, they, they're they probably not on and their their anti-scout probably just dropped. So that's that's one good thing. If they have like a March size boost and it's almost finishing, that means they were on within the last four hours. So they could pro possibly still be on. And yeah, you, you kind of don't know with that whole situation. Uh, another thing that you, you, you want to look at in the report after you look at the boost and you see that boosts aren't running or anything, or if even if they are, you want to look at the troop counts. You want to see the layering of the troops because if if it's a, like a crazy amount of t4s you might not win if it's a insane amount of t2s like evenly spread you might not win but if it's like a really bad layering and or they just have a very small troop count you will have a chance of winning you have to you have to be able to read the report you have to read what type of troops they have are they um regular heavy are they advanced heavy or are they merc heavy you if you if you see their regular heavy, you can definitely hit them with advanced troops. Uh, um, if you see that they're merc heavy, you can hit them with um, regular troops. No, yeah, regular troops. Or if they're even regular heavy, you for now we just have um, T5s, only regular T5s. Regular T5s actually hit extremely harder, so especially if you're maxed out, so you can get away with that. But in the future, you, you still want to look at the different types because I'm guessing that the um, advanced T5s and the Merc T5s will be coming out soon also. So, yeah, you have to be able to look at the types, the exact true types. Are they running infantry, infantry types? Are they running tactical types? Are they running armored vehicle types? Because if you can read that, you can decide which is the best type of troops to hit them with if you see that they're heavy on infantry type you can attack them with um tactical cores me personally i hate attacking with anything other than cores i'd rather lose my commander with cores on than lose my commander with uh, regular gear on i you will not see me attacking anyone with regular gear i i will i will make cores just to hit one person i don't care <laughs> 
so that's one thing as a great rally leader you have to be able to adjust to the report every time you hit because if you hit them hard it's gonna make their 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 troops uneven and you kind of want to get them evened out so you don't get captured by mistake so you 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 want to rotate in between um the different types so you can use different cores or different gear whatever you do have at the time or have different rally leaders all hitting at the same time three different rally leaders that that's also a very helpful way because everyone can run a different core set and not one person is just using three core sets by themselves because one person using three core sets kind of sucks unless you're okay with, with using all three core sets if you're okay with using all three then go ahead and knock yourself out so after you already started knocking off their troops and you already started reading the reports, always look at the, their troops. Even after the hits, you want to see you want to see what to hit next. You want to know what what's the best troops to hit them with. What I explained there was like a dream scenario. They they don't have an anti scout up. They don't have a boost running. They're probably in bad gear or weak defense gear, and you can zero them and and the zero went as smoothly as possible. Now you have to look at another situation. Now you have to decide if the anti-scout is up, you have to consider, okay, how good is the gear that they're wearing? Are they in the in the in the size range that you can most likely burn them and you feel comfortable attacking them as a rally leader and making sure your commander gets back? What ins insignias are they running? Are they running like uh, research insignias, training insignias, or gold insignias? You you have to look into all of this stuff because one one little thing might might be off. If they're in research gear with defense um, insignias, you kind of you kind of question that. You you, you don't want to be the, that leader that attacked the guy with the with the defense research setup on. <laughs> you don't want to be that leader. You want to be the guy that zeroes the, the right person. So you you have to consider everything. You have to look at everything. There's some people do obvious things that they kind of give away their their setups. They kind of switch out pieces uh, while you're um, scouting or whatever you're doing. You kind of want to pay attention to all of it. Make sure everything runs smoothly. You always pay attention to the gear. Always have someone calling out for gear. Always look at the insignias. You you want to you want to know exactly what's going. on so now during the kill events this during the kill events you you kind of have to be more careful because you don't want to give up too many points if you burn someone and the first thing you have to look at is at the power destroyed the power destroyed tells the whole story are they a trap and they're okay with losing those troops or are you just destroying them if you're just destroying them and the power the power destroyed is in your favor Go ahead, try to get another quick attack. You have to be extremely quick because they will probably shield. If you're extremely quick, you can get multiple hits off. So as a leader, you have to be fast. You have to be decisive. You have to read the, the situation. You have to analyze everything very quickly. Everything happens, bam, 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 bam. And let's say the points aren't in your favor. You don't want to attack again because you're just giving away points, especially now that you have T5 troops. T5 troops are higher higher power so you're kind of giving up a lot more power and you don't want to lose to the t2 traps because they they're barely losing any power so you you have to be careful with that you have to decide is the zero worth it um is the burn worth it um, are you just wasting your time because they could just be rebuilding troops while you're attacking them so you, you have to look into all of this and you have to consider what's the best situation for your team. What do you have to do? Because you don't want to get captured also. You don't want to be sitting on the bench for two hours waiting, looking at everyone now that you lost your commander. You lost your commander, you wasted cores, and you gave up points. So in the Kilimans, you have to be a lot more careful. You have to be very decisive, extremely, extremely decisive. You have to look at the report. Always look at the report. The report tells you a whole story. It, it makes everything run so much smoother if you know the troop types, exactly what troops you're attacking, what troops um, to use, uh, what gear they're using, or if they have any boost or if they have any, um, any different insignias. You want to know all this situation. So yeah, that's basically about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this part, part two of the how to be a great rally leader. Part three will actually be coming up very soon because this video was actually supposed to be way longer. <laughs> it, it, I realized it was way longer than, than it should have been. So 
I decided to just make it into two parts instead. And the next part is going to come up very soon. It's I like the next part a lot. So I hope you guys like the next part. And I will see you guys in the next video. Uh, keep on being super clutch. Long live the jackrabbits. And if I don't see you guys before the next kill event, I will be most likely seeing you guys before the next kill event. But if, just in case you don't come to my channel before the next kill event, good luck in the kill event, everyone. And I hope you guys kick ass. Peace. All right, that's it for this video. Thank you guys for making it this far. If you enjoyed it, leave a like. Feel free to comment your favorite part of this video and share this with your friends, your mother, your grandmother, your neighbor, your enemy. Who cares? Your whole kingdom. I don't care. <laughs> as long as you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. If not, I'll still see you in the next video. Stay awesome, guys. Peace.